Hey guys, it's Tanner with PhoneScope. Uh, I just wanted to take a few minutes today just to show you guys how to measure your optics uh, if you're looking for a custom fit adapter. Uh, it's a pretty simple process. We do get a lot of questions on it, so we just wanted to go ahead and address that today in this video. So what you want to do is see if you can't get your hands on a digital caliper uh, somewhat similar to this. From there, we ask for three measurements. Uh, one across the face here at the top, one about a half inch down, and then at another half inch or a full inch down from the top. Uh, we ask that you get us those measurements just so we can check to see if that eyepiece has any sort of taper to it, um, and it, just to make sure it's a proper fitting piece so that we only have to build it once for you. So there's a measurement there. Go ahead and would write that down, and you move down about a half inch and take that measurement, write that down, and move down another full inch, and from there we're coming off the eyepiece in this case, um, down. I mean, you can see there's a pretty significant flare on this Zeiss Dioscope 85, um, and that's what we're watching for. If there's any sort of flare, in most cases our adapter isn't gonna fit um, where it needs to if we just get a measurement at the top because it flares out down at the bottom. So in that case, our adapter is only gonna go on there you know, an eighth of an inch, if that. Um, so we just, we're trying to make sure they fit properly. Um, what you'll also see us ask for is uh, the length of the eyepiece, uh, basically from here right to where it meets the body of that scope. Um, in that case, I mean, you can just use a standard ruler or a cloth tape, um, anything of that nature. It just helps us to get an idea of, you know, how long the eyepiece is. If it's really short and stubby, we'll want to ac accommodate for that. Um, any pictures would be great, you know, while you're taking the measurements or at least a picture of the eyepiece if we don't already have one. Uh, just so we can see, you know, where the zoom function is, if there's a focus function on the eyepiece. Make sure that all of that is free and clear and that you still have full functionality while you are phone scoping. So guys, that's just a quick tip on how to measure your eyepiece. If you have any questions, shoot us an email, tanner at phonescope.com. Uh, you can also shoot one over at support at phonescope.com. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.